with the conversation um, on, on nudity. Um, somebody had um, posted a picture. Somebody, a, a woman, she's 40 years old, posted a picture. And then people are going at her saying that after 40, is it right for you to be going nude um, at that age? That nudity at that age is disgusting. repulsive and, and disgusting. And others have said, excuse me, she's, being, she's living her life. Mm. Why would anybody try to judge that situation in the Nigerian context? Obviously, we've seen lots of nude people outside, uh, outside our shores. But in the Nigerian context, is it acceptable? And that's what we're having the conversation. Now, we're not bashing anybody because we're women here, and our objective is not to bash anybody, but it's to discuss the issues surrounding it. So we're not going to mention the person's name. It's not our focus. <laughs> our focus is, as a 40-year-old and above, or a, a mature woman, can you still do, uh, do you, do what you want to do, regardless of um, the society we live in? Can you be all you want to be at any age? Is that, that's a real conversation here. And why must the society judge us based on our decisions per time? Um, you see, let me come to you because <laughs> you are, are dickiness. Hey, don't play that card, though. Let me not play. Okay, what are, what are your okay. thoughts on uh, this? I don't know. I just feel we are too judgmental. Mm. Um, that, that sort of picture is what we'll see a Kim Kardashian or a Nicki Minaj or somebody else outside the country put up. And you see people gushing, oh, God, you're so beautiful. You're so this one, you're so that one. But once he's a Nigerian, mm -hmm, that's when we now put on our, our cap, holy cap, our holy cap, our sanctimonious cap, our <laughs> judgment cap. You are 40, you are 50, you shouldn't do this, you shouldn't do that. Um, I think we should get to evolve to a point where whatever somebody does that does not affect you, does not hurt you, does not kill you, mm. does not you know, take food out of your mouth, does not squash you, whatever it is, that person should be allowed to be themselves. Mm. Now, this particular person in question, I don't know why I didn't want to mention her name. She's a celebrity. Mm. And we know that nudity is what is selling for them right mm. now. And she decides to do something and look good doing it. And then we come with all of those. It's not this. Think about your son. Think about that. I think you are, you are just taking Panadol for another person's headache. Mm. I've seen uh, celebrities over time, even on this set, who we felt their, their parents did not live that sanctimonious sort of life, but they turned out to be amazing people today. So mm. everybody's path is different. Mm. If you don't like what you see on somebody's page, I always say this, please unfollow. <laughs> don't watch. <laughs> if it disturbs your eyesight, there was a celebrity who was, I was following sometime, and then he released the song, and mm. all of a sudden I was just seeing naked women dancing and all of that and i know that anytime i pick up my phone no kids now they will come mommy what yeah, are you doing right. i unfollowed yeah for my sake and mm. for the sake of my children so mm. protect your children if mm. we everybody cannot train your children for you mm. Mm. Oh, I, I don't but see okay let me come to Brian. Let me, let me get your initial thoughts because mm. we always have to always bring things back to our own african context yes mm. it's, it's good to look at to, to see them do it when it comes to us, we see it in a totally different lens. It's, it's not the same lens we used to see the um, uh, Kim Kardashian. Why are we, we changing lens? Why are we someone... changing lens? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, I wasn't too keen on discussing this mm. issue. Um, for me, this particular trending topic has two sides to it. And the mm. second side is what I'm most interested in. Because I feel we have discussed nudity, semi-nudity, all forms of nudity on this platform in various ways. Mm. And I think many Nigerians, even a, a, a visitor to Nigeria in two days, knows exactly how many Nigerians feel about that. The part of this conversation that is important to me is how we view a woman when she's of a particular age. Does beauty stop at 40? Does confidence mm -hmm. stop at 40? Are you expected to be, um, are you expected to diminish yourself because you're 40? Is your body really disgusting at 40? Does a man who's married to his wife for many years, when she turns 40, is he repulsed by her? You know, this is a narrative we hear. There used to be a time where women were ashamed to get to 30. Mm. And they have, you know, sort of, um, taking that um, power back mm. and they celebrate their 30s with 40, all, 50. you know, all um, excitement. They have gone on to 40 and they're embracing their age and they're doing all mm. sorts of fantastic things within this age. We are now hearing 50 is the new 25. Why is it okay for a man to say to a woman that your body is repulsive at 40? Mm. Mm. Now, I'm not talking about posting of the nudity or not. I'm talking of this narrative, this rhetoric mm. we hear The audacity, often. right? Mm. Yeah, is it not necessarily the audacity. Yes, the audacity, but he's, um, he, can, he has the right to his opinion. But my own is, 
even if it's not spoken, yeah. it is suggested that when you're 40, it should be you should you should you diminish it. yourself. Okay, but there's a word too much. There's a word you use that I think I'd like us to talk, talk about confidence. I mean, does nudity showing nudity show confidence? Does, does, does that exude confidence in any way? That I think is something we need to discuss. But let me take this call from Yakub. Yakub, are you there? Thanks for calling. I'm, I'm here, Mario. Good, good to, morning. Good to have you on the show. Uh, let me begin by saying I thank to God Almighty Allah that make us to see you once again. Mm. And then entire family of TCC yeah. as a whole. Thank you. Because uh, I've been trying to call the program since uh, you come back. I couldn't get to. And then I hope, I hope soon you will go back to the normal numbers. And then because we are, I'm sure we are just manage this one for now. Okay. God Almighty <laughs> Allah to continue to protect us. So I would say that, Murayo, right. you see, the picture that you are talking about, mm. every one of us saw it. If unfortunately you say that we shouldn't mention the person's uh, <laughs> name, which I will not do that. Thank but you. Uh, Morayo, you see, that very particular celebrity, it has a lot of fans. It mm. has a lot of people that follow her. Mm. Are you getting it now? If you say that we shouldn't set <coughs> manager for somebody's aesthetic, I don't think uh, it, it is like that. I don't welcome that because we are Africa. And then we should be able to send some messages to our children. Mm. Because when I saw that picture, Morayo, I say, wow, what is this? I, I did what uh, Obi said. I unfollow her immediately mm -hmm. because that is not what I ought to saw on my phone. Thank you and God bless you. Thank you very much. <laughs> All right, so he, he has told us that in the African context, and, and i like us to bring that conversation there. Okay. Because Africa the truth is that whether we like it or not, that's where we are. Africa. And um, they say, so I was having the, when I was talking to somebody about this, he said, Nudity for the, for, for is, is, a, is a show of low self-esteem, not mm. confidence. That, that's what the person felt, that when somebody goes out nude, <clears throat> is a clear sense of, listen, I want your attention. See me, I am here. Can, mm -hmm. You need to acknowledge me as being sexy. That's a perception according to this person. But others are saying, no, it's a, show, it's a show of, I am confident, I'm confident in who I am, in what I am. In my body. In my body. So how do we define nudity in the African context? I okay. think is the, is the direction I would like us to take this conversation okay. to. May I go back to the ancient times? Please do. <laughs> where we have different tribes and there are different mm. uh, uh, um, cultural attires. Mm. Where we have the maidens who will wear the... What's it called? This one that they hang here, all the tummy showing, and then they wear a very small one there mm. with the beats and all of that. Mm. Didn't go it was, far back, you know. Okay. There was a time it, that it, there was nothing. There, there was even nothing. Yeah. Thank you very <laughs> much. Africa. Why is it that when it comes to things like this, we are always cherry picking the one we feel, okay, this one does not suit us, or this one suits us, and all of that? If you want to em embrace individuality, embrace it. If you want, if other people are embracing individual, let them be. You are not the one to define what Africa is supposed to be for somebody else, because that person is seeing it from another lens, another African lens. <laughs> Me coming from a tribe where we only tie white cloth on the chest as a traditional attire. Mm. If I tie it here, they will say I'm nude. Yeah. They will say I'm nude. But that is my culture, mm. and it was not influenced by the West. But can I, can that I was what we met. Second. But do you know that the, the, the West, as they are right now, many of them see Africa in admiration of or how we've seen our culture. I'm, I'm, going, I'm going somewhere. Okay, be going. They, 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 they admire what we've done so far because it seems that we are so in a hurry to be like them. Yeah. But they are trying to, uh, they admire us, and they're almost wishing they were more like us. Mm. Let me say that in the sense that, they, 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 they see how we respect and carry ourselves. Mm -hmm. The fact that the, a parent, a Nigerian parent, is not worried about my daughter going off the next day to smoke and get nude and do, mm -hmm. and do and say that I'm, I'm now a... We have I'm, values. I'm now, we have those values that we yeah. still uphold there. Yeah. But if we now throw it out in the sense that I'm confident that I can be nude, don't you feel that we're now sending mixed um, signals to people behind. I'm, I'm just quick, to before you jump in, may I quickly yes. say that naturally I don't like to wear clothes. Naturally, it has mm. nothing to do with if it's confidence or anything. If you leave me in my house, I can be like, <laughs> if I send my kids away, I don't wear clothes. Oh. I don't like to wear some things okay. naturally. Okay. So if I have an opportunity, if they, hold, if they leave me, hey. I will take that kind of picture. Hey, Jesus it has Christ. nothing to do we with what anybody... We will not leave you. Let, <laughs> me take, <laughs> let me take Anna. And I'll come to you. Anna, are you there? Thanks for calling. <laughs> Good morning. 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 <laughs> I, I enjoy your conversation. Thank you. Thank you. Anyway, what I want to say, happiness is free. Mm. Whatever someone likes to do, you do. 
in the, see, I, I really don't see anything wrong in in making yourself happy. I don't feel she just wants to be she just wants to be free. She just wants mm. to do what she feels is right. okay for her. You don't have to force people to dress like um like um all these Japanese who from head to toe. Mm. Does that make you a Christian or a believer? Mm -hmm. Sometimes you just have to be free. I allow this air that God gave to you to come in everywhere. Let breeze blow some places. Enjoy it. You understand? Oh Lord, this body is small now. Okay. And the way we reason in this country is becoming small. That's the problem we have. Every little thing we take it upon ourselves and say we want to kill ourselves. Oh, Nothing okay. is here. Thank okay. you. All right, okay. let me let me go on a break. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go on a break. We'll continue this conversation. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Thanks for staying with us. So we're still on this conversation. Yes, um, Mariam had a point to it. Yes, so you were talking about taking it back to culture. Mm -hmm. And interestingly, um, as um, you have mentioned, Obiodilu, um, nudity, you know, has sort of, it, it is part of our culture. Mm. We're going back to tradition. But of course, we know that um, culture evolves. But I found this very interesting article and talked about the Igbo women in pre-colonial times. Um, they would um, go naked for a man who would not do his, who would not take out his manly duties. Yeah. He would not take care of the house. He's lazy. After he's been warned by different family members, the <laughs> women in his family and his community, they would strip naked. To protest. And, and protest and call him all sorts of names. They would sing, taunting him and yabbing his manhood <laughs> and everything. <laughs> making to change. So I've always known that um, nudity is subjective and mm. can be used for many, mm. you know, to pass different messages. And, you know, the about women's riot comes to mind where women... Yeah. Stripped mm. naked, right. you know, to 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 protest for that their right. Objective. I'm talking yeah. about nakedness no, for. No, no they're the same thing. I'm getting there. They're all objective. I'll get okay, you there. Okay. I'm starting oh, from wow. culture since we wanted to go there because I know every time we talk about nudity, Nigerians run straight to culture. Right, right, right. <laughs> so that is culture. That's a fundam. You know, that's mm. um, culture. Mm. But um, over the years, I've seen there's a Hollywood culture mm. because, to be fair. Even abroad, where the celebrities tend to go nude and on social media and their TV, I have seen um, the narrative where the conservatives find it uncomfortable. Mm. But there's a Hollywood culture. Mm. And what I find that the message is recently is that women are taking back the narrative that I am beautiful. And it's usually about age, about pregnancy. There was a time where the picture where the woman who, uh, woman who is pregnant, she takes a picture, photo you know, does a photo shoot showing her belly. Because mm. there was a time a woman's belly was called disgusting. Mm. Cover your bump. Hide yourself because mm. you're pregnant. Mm. So they decided, right. see, I'm showing this because I'm proud of who I am. Yeah, right. Women now of a certain age who have worked out, who think that, you know, my body is looking good. Some, it's not about That's working short. out. It's like, I love my folds. Okay. I love everything that I right. represent. Right. And I'm confident to show I'll it. I'll come back to you, Mary, because I, I wanted mm. to talk, take up on a few issues. But let, let me take Mary. Mary, are you still there? Hello, yes, Mary. Thanks for calling. Go ahead, please. You're live. Yeah. Hi. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah. I, um, I don't have a problem with, you know, the way you choose to dress. You know, it's all right if you are okay with it. I, don't, I really don't have a problem with it. But I have a problem when it is on my face. If you say you're confident with yourself and, you know, you are okay with the way you are and you want to take picture, take the picture, you know, but not, you know, you don't need to display it. No, we don't all have to see it. You know, so if you yeah, said, oh, okay, this is the way I am and I want to be this, you know, then be it. You know, I really don't have a problem with any how you want to do it. But I have a problem with it being on my face, mm. you know. Mm. So that's, that's what my own issue is. Mm. You know, you want to dress. You don't, you don't need everyone to see it, you know. Right. You take the picture and you keep it. I, know, I, I really don't need to see it. Mm. So there's a right. problem when, you know, if you play it and everyone right. is seeing it. Right. Uh, well, uh, my children, they go on my phone and, you know, and they see that, you know. I have a problem with that. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. So there's always that there's that part of you know how cable TV you pay for cable, mm. but terrestrial TV is free to air. Mm. So they are, they are mm. more regulated because people just turn on the TV and they see this. So mm. but for cable you pay for it. You, you choose to see to what you see. see. So in this kind of situation, so what she's saying is that if you're going to post something, make it decent. Now how do we defend the, define decency? Decency to you is different for decency to another person. So these are all relative terms that culture helps us to define. Mm. You know the what? reason you have yeah. your Instagram page is because it's your 
personal public space. Okay. So if I take a picture and I post it on my page, it's for my fans who like it. And those that don't like it are free to unfollow me. Now, if a blog picks it, probably because I'm a celebrity or whatever it is, and decides to post it on their page, it's their business. You can unfollow that blog if you don't want to see mm. the sort of things that they post. Mm. So, you saying nobody brings anything to your face. Why do you want going to follow people to look for <laughs> But what of really? social responsibility? I mean, you and I have responsibility to not just our family, but to our fans, to people who look at us, respect us, they, they regard us, you mm -hmm. know. So, because of respect for them, mm. there's certain things we won't do. Now, do you think we should hold that um, high, we should, we should hold that up with our celebrities too, that, okay, yes, people love you, people respect you, you are, you are the best female singer in the world, and we all love you. Because of that, maybe you can actually question the way you do things. You, you can, you can ha know how to do be the modest in certain ways because okay. lots of people okay. are funny. Is that a possibility? Okay, so Mariah, the thing is you're basing this um, argument on the fact that you think the person thinks what they've done is wrong. Mm. Uh, on that picture, there were hundreds of thousands like, of likes, likes. Right. and hundreds of thousands of comments Comments saying to her, in. well done. Mm -hmm. Positive. So first of all, the person who has done it first, she's done her social responsibility. Mm. <laughs> to, quite to, to quite a number of people. To a community of people. Right. The people of like minds. Right. To a young girl or a 40-year-old who is feeling, I'm getting to 40 and I'm ashamed of my body. Mm. I'm mm. not confident. Nice. There is a community. Right. So when you find yourself, you're in another community and you find yourself in this community and you pass. Carry yourself. Because you delete yourself. Leave, <laughs> you know, I have seen I like over that. time mm. where, um, remember when we were growing up, Men or uh, boys used to put pictures of Madonna, mm. uh, J-Lo on their walls. Yeah. So I know that in Nigeria, it seems the moment she looks like a black person and looks like maybe a BC that she can re he can recognize on the street. Mm -hmm. No Bad way. One. We can't take it. <laughs> but if it's a Madonna far there in America, yeah. we don't mind, you right. know. So maybe we need to start, mm. you know, thinking beyond mm. nudity. Thank uh, you. We should look at nudity. As, that it means many things to different people mm. and accommodate you know, that. I, I, I said to myself, would I ever see... Well, I mean, there are certain people that I admire that people just probably just feel like, yeah, just, yeah, act like you're old school. I mean, I can never see... <laughs> you are old yeah, school. Nude. I can, I mean, I can That's never see. That's your style. I mean, these are people that me, I admire. Okay. People, like, I can't see a Ibuku oh, Those are things. So, with all due respect... Imagine if she wanted to make a point and they said, to make that point, she was so upset she went naked. She what said, would it be her nudity or the fact that she went that far to pass the message? So that is how I see nudity hmm. subjective. Hmm. Let May me take I this call. Say, okay, let me right. just digest that information. <laughs> Bola, are you there? Thanks for calling. Hello. Falabi, go ahead. I do apologize. Falabi, go ahead, please. Yeah. Okay. Um, so um, my trick um, is basically, um, I don't see anything wrong. Um, in nudity, okay. I mean, but I'd rather have a woman do it for me. Mm -hmm. And even if you're not my woman, for any woman as a celebrity, I think it's all about you and people that believe in you. Um, I don't know the extent of nudity, the lady is question of protest, I've not seen the picture, but I think um, it's not about Africa or where you're from or any part of the world. See, this thing, man, I have a a, a 13 year old, I have a 12 year old. You know, you all have kids that go online at any time, maybe they're on Instagram that follow. So, what I see now is that I see it as uh, an avenue of promoting liberty, and 15 year old, she feels that is the right thing to do. A 13 year old girl, a 15 year old feels that's the right thing to do. And, you know, we think that at the end of the day, how the baby is different from how. A, a 25 year old or a 30 year old will, will, will take it. I'm an old person. If I have a good back, you can tell me. All right. Thank Thank. Thank you very much, Paper. So yeah, I, finally, perso yes. I personally think that everybody has their markets and you should focus on your audience. So whatever it is that you're selling, if you're in the uh, nudity department, you're in the covering department, you're any department, focus on the people that want to buy your markets. Mm. And as long as you're making it in that your space, 
people you always have people who will disagree with you okay and that's okay it's part of life no nobody think, will see yeah. every, everybody 100 cannot say what you have done is good no matter how good it is we'll always have people on the other so side so i think we'd like to wrap mm -hmm. up and yeah. May, yeah. may i quickly yeah. um also say that um there was a very important point Miriam mentioned and i wanted to say that um i think we ha we should move away from body shaming women because of how right. they look at a certain age. So mm. when you get to, you should wear this, you should cover this, you should do this, forgetting that we are all aging together. The men as well, mm. when they are <laughs> aging, some things sag, and we don't body shame mm. them. We don't mm. say, okay, please go and make sure the yeah. bag is now baggy. Don't we have to wrap up, unfortunately. Let me just take Okay, yes, yeah. so YK sent a... Uh, so we have loads of tweets on <laughs> yes. this. Yeah. So she says, correction, ladies, African women showing their bodies was not done in a sensual way. The way this picture was show, uh, this picture was showing sexuality. Mm, I think mm, um, sexuality is in the eye of the beholder. And, yeah, and, yeah, also, and finally, I think um, I have to wrap up on this. But this whole thing is relative. There are some people that see that picture and see it as uh, an inspiration mm. to lose weight, to mm. feel better, to feel the pain. Some feel if she, even show if she feels, if she, if she, if she can feel that confident mm. to do that, mm. I can also do the same thing. Mm. So that that is enough inspiration for others. Mm. Others feel. It is it's slutty. I mean, it depends on how you say it. But either way, I think that everybody to his own. Yeah. And let us be responsible for our own pages. Oh